Uh, well, hello and good morning to the first full day here at the Vancouver Island Van Life Meetup. As you can see, we got some cool vans all parked around here, a bunch of uh, full-time van lifers. We're just taking um, this little guy out for a wander around the uh, uh, rented facilities. What do you think of this guy? Cute little Toyota. Hey. I met him last night. His name is Guy. has a great story. We're going to go have a look at that van, hopefully sometime today. Um, the story behind that van is heart-inspiring. Anyways, let's go for this walk. Around. This is a community hall in Union Bay. It was known for a coal shipping terminal, I believe. Uh, there's a bunch of coal fields across the street. We'll try to get around there. Oh, there's salmon at work here. <laughs> oh, Vancouver Island. It just never ceases to amaze me what you're gonna stumble upon when we wander around this beautiful island. <laughs> Such a puller. Stop it, dude. Okay, so we finished our cute little walk. <coughs> I didn't take you down to the other part of the river. We'll do that later. I have a few things I need to do while I'm here. One of them is get Wayne to put in my uh, rheostat in here so I can have an adjustable speed of fan. And right now it does uh, forward and backward, but it's always on full. So we're going to have that redone. And I forgot to hook up my solar panels to my solar control box. So I need to go pull the stuff out of the back. And I need to go up on top of my roof and hook up my third solar panel. We got a little bit of work to do. And by the way, Mario... It would have been nice to be able to meet you. Why didn't you come in the building? Huh? Mario. Uh, merci beaucoup, buddy. <laughs> he wants to be outside. We got everything pulled apart up here, and I decided it was time to clean everything, too, so... Close enough. I need to get up on the roof and clean the inside of that hood fan. Okay, next up, let's go out the back, empty the back out, and get those uh, solar panels hooked up. It's nice and warm in here. <laughs> what I got to do. We'll be removing all this stuff here because there's two wires back there that need to be uh, hooked up to the box. So let's get at it. find these wires <laughs> okay as I'm all cramped up in the underneath the bed here uh, we found out which one was positive which was negative now I have to pull the tape off these ends before we insert them into the holes <laughs> right on okay project two is done we got the fan done we have the solar hooked up now I have to climb up top here and we're gonna hook up a third solar panel so we can have 300 watts of collectible solar energy. Let's grab this and head up this. Thank you. We're lifting it up. I'm gonna be putting that tape in. We need to hook these wires up and hook it up to this solar panel. What a pretty nice workstation, I must admit. This is Wayne's van here. We're gonna have a look at it too soon. But what I did here was I put this up earlier, but I didn't have the cable to join them all together. And while I had it apart and joined them, I had put new bottle tape 
underneath. You can't see it. It's this stuff here. It's like putty. And you place it down between uh, the bracket and your roof. It makes a really good seal so you're not going to get any holes in your roof. Anyways, we hooked it all up. I did a measurement before. We were pulling in 25 watts, 24 watts of power through the two 100-watt solar, solar panels. I hooked up a third 100-watt solar panel on energy, and we're pulling now 33 watts. So I'm pretty happy that works out to like 11 watts. It is a great crappy-ass day. I didn't say that. But it's enough power to draw one. 2.15 amps. That'll keep everything running inside my van during the day so we're not really discharging the batteries. Everything's accomplished. I just got to go rehang re the controller. We need to thank Jose from Jose's Serenity Wagon for this awesome ladder we used to get up top there. We're going to put all this stuff back after I finish the job in here. Look at this mess. Okay, coffee break. <laughs> Okay, we finished coffee. It's time to get back to work and clean up this mess before we get booted out. Right, Jim? Right. <laughs> Hello, little boy. We got all our jobs done today. We didn't get a lot of filming done. But I guess Dad's got to start making some food for the potluck. Okay. So we started cooking. <laughs> Get this. It's a potluck. Bacon goes with everything, especially KD. The water's ready to boil. We have the barbecue out because we're going to do pizza for the first time on the lovely Weber, Weber grill. Hopefully it turns out. And we'll see what's happening inside. I don't know. There's chicken soup and cookies and a whole bunch of stuff that people will be bringing in. So it should be an interesting evening. You know, I thought I'd kick it up a notch. Katie's KD and it kicks it up a notch with bacon, but let's add a little onion and potato to it. And we're gonna do casserole. Nice, eh? everything in yummy yummy and all this goes into here <laughs> yeah so uh, we got used to the community center hall here and the kitchen which is really cool uh, we had that chicken last night and today, uh, well, people are using it for baking and cooking and stuff like that. I'm going to use it for cleaning my stuff because it has a sink. <laughs> I'm just like I got them done. Uh, we'll let these sit here and rinse off while I uh, take a break. Another one. <laughs> while we're waiting for the uh, potluck to start up, I've decided to uh, create my new uh, bathroom bucket toilet. Toilet. My other one broke. The lid broke. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this, which is a plastic hose, to take away the sharpness from the lid. And then we're going to put another piece of foam to get comfortability. So I went and picked up this stuff. This is, is the bomb when it comes to tape. 
I'm going to have to add little pieces around the way as I put it on just to hold it in place before we get the actual foam wrap. And there, my friends, is the toilet. <laughs> Was that a good walk, buddy? <laughs> uh, Wayne got around to fixing my fan. This is awesome, you guys. Check this out. So that's forward and reverse. This is the power. So I click it on, and we have slow motion or reverse fast just like that so now I have a ceiling fan to keep the uh, uh, circulation in here going a much better I think that's what we're getting a lot of the condensation and mold from so we got a new fan in the garage this will even help up top here keeps the heat circulating in here a little late in the year but you know what more improvements mean better living now I'm gonna see if you can fix this baby for me this is uh, my vacuum that I have for in here, but the charge on it isn't the best. And he took my BioLite battery, zapped it with 24 volts or something like that, and then what it caused it to do is when next time you charged it, it was at a higher voltage and it stayed longer. So I'm gonna see if we can do it to my vacuum. <laughs> can you redo that one? The battery inside? Probably. It is, yes. Do you have to take it out or can you do it through the... No, you have to take it out. You have to take it apart. So, as you heard, I have to pull it apart to get the battery out. Luckily for me, Wayne is actually sitting on the island here for the next couple of weeks. I'll get that done and then get him to zap it in the near future. <laughs> Well, Wayne came over and says, do you want me to take the battery out for you? <laughs> and you know what I said. <laughs> you can tell by that last video. Yeah, so he's uh, going to go do that for me. What a great guy. We're doing a pancake breakfast with all these people. That's my buddy Chris. You gotta watch out for him. One to become a YouTuber, so hopefully one day he picks up a camera. So Wayne's having problems with his uh, turbo. I think uh, she's ready to go, yeah. We're gonna say goodbye to this great gathering. Sorry I didn't get around and introduce you to a bunch of people, but I promise we'll be back because they are um, holding these four times a year. Uh-oh. Wayne's back. He's back. And the turbo air intake is blown off again. We believe that it's uh, a worn clamp. We tried using some tape to hold it on. We need to find a clamp, I think. Today's adventure uh, ends uh, the meet for the weekend, and we are heading up to uh, Spider Lake Springs. We're going to go stop in and visit one of the uh, owners of Bavarian, so on our way to Horn Lake. the beaten track of the Highway 19, and we're now on the road into Spider Lake. What the heck is this warning? Look at this place. It's 
actually huge. I pulled it up on a map and I'm like, are you kidding me? This place is huge. You know you're glamping when. <laughs> I must say though that Clint does get his use out of this because he's out here, I would say half or three quarters of the weekends of the year. Well, we're hanging out and, uh, well, family showed up, so uh, we have to be really polite and stuff. <laughs> like, that'll ever happen. Check this place out. Supper time. Oh. The time is near, the time is gone, and we're going to. Have the final curtain. Sorry about my uh, ability to remember those words aren't quite uh, good right at this moment. We're all leaving here and we're heading to a uh, campsite for the evening and then we're heading to Horror Lake. Do me a favor. Can you say goodbye, everybody? Just say goodbye, everybody. <laughs>